it's Lynn from Linney's Here Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a little bit croaky. I'm just getting it over or up the tail ends of COVID. So um, hopefully you can understand me properly. But I'm coming on to create a or recreate a card that I gave my mum on Mother's Day. <clears throat> it was also the card I created for the a theme challenge, a spring theme challenge. And for me... Um, a sure sign of spring is daffodils. So I used the fabulous daffodil daydream bundle. So you've got the stamps and I actually only use this stamp on there, but it comes bundled with these fabulous dies. Um, so you can see that these cut out these and you've got the butterfly that gets cut out as well. But this is a really lovely stamp set, very versatile, and I've been using lots of it. Um, and these dies create um, the daffodils, and that's what I'm using. So you've got four, um, you've got two leaves, two stems in different directions, and then you've got doubles. So you've got flutes, um, two of these, you've got a bud, and then this creates... Um, a daffodil so you need one of these and those two to create the daffodil so there's lots of fussy cutting and I've done this in advance because let's face it you don't want to see me do that on the card and I'll flash a picture up the card that I made for my mum I used very vanilla cardstock to cut all the die cuts out and then I use a blending brush but today I am I've just done it in cardstock so this is the cardstock and the designer series paper that I've used for the card so I've got some so saffron bumblebee now this is retiring so if you like that get your put your orders in for that now there'll be links to my shop below some very vanilla some old olive a tiny little bit of soft sea foam and um, this designer series paper is only available until the end of this month I believe and that is the all together six by six and it's fabulous black and white designs and the card I'm making today I'm actually going to use um, this is a new stamp set this is a, one of the one of four stamp sets that demonstrators were able to get for free for attending and on um, our on tour event uh, the other week um, and I'm gonna use this one because I think that's lovely a paper hug from me and I can't believe it I was looking through all my old videos and I can't believe that I've never done a box card so I've already done a lot of the cutting um, so that we can just assemble it but I'll run through what we've what I've used so this was a piece of bumblebee cardstock and it was five inches by ten and a half inches and I have scored it at three, five, eight and ten on the long side and then I turned it up that way either that way or that way it doesn't matter and I've scored it at two and a half but I didn't score this pack this back panel here so I scored that down and I used my trimmer to actually because uh, you could cut up but I cut up each of these bits with my trimmer and then I've trimmed off this little bit there so that's kind of the base and then I've got two bits of bumblebee which are one and a half centimeters by four and I've scored each end at um, half a centimeter at half an inch sorry um, the soft sea foam this is a piece that measures um, it was actually just a, um, a scrap, but this was six inches long. And that's going to, that's, I've used 
this really pretty die to create this edge um, and this is from the hand pen dies got that I've got some designer series paper and this is I've got one piece which is um, two and three eighths by it's two and three eighths by two and seven eighths and then this two pieces for the flaps this is um, two and three eighths by one and seven eighths so that will be on I've got um, I've used two of the um, what are these dies these are the tasteful label dies and sadly these are retiring so if you want to get your hands on them um, you'll need to purchase those before the end of the month when the new catalogue comes out so I'm going to stamp and then I shall die cut that and I've already used this one with some of the soft sea foam to cut this little label here and then I've got two pieces of very vanilla both the same size they are two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and I'm going to do that one for the front of <clears throat> this bit and one for the back where you can write your message so I'm going to let's just I used a bit of designer series paper on the back panel um, last time and um, I'm just going to recreate it because it's retired and I thought I'd show really easily show you how to recreate it just with some some ink um, and it's I'm using a little heart the little heart um, stamp from always in your heart always in my heart so that's another one that's retiring sadly so I can't believe I've never done a box card and these can be they can be square this kind of the sizing for this started off uh, because I've got I had an em I had some envelopes and um, they are five by five squared five and a half by five but squared so that's why where, where this came from so this is when it's closed it's going to be a five inch squared card so as I said I've done the cutting and scoring already and I've already put some uh, double-sided tape on this flap and the easiest thing for me when I'm doing a card is to take that off you can use wet wet glue whatever's your your poison whatever's your favorite but fold that down and fold that across and it will meet perfectly and there you have your box card and that is going to be covered over that's why we didn't cover that to begin with lovely and that will fold either way I'm gonna do some stamping here and I've got a little piece of paper and I've got some old olive ink the one on the very back I'm just gonna use this swirly stamp Top and bottom, I just think that gives a nice little design. Pop that to one side, and then this, just going to use the trio stamps so yes of all the things my husband could give me for Easter he managed to give me Covid 
and he's through the other side and I'm still feeling a bit rubbish so that's not great but there we go but you get the drift you can easily make a very pretty designer series paper now I'm not going to worry about going down to the bottom and I'm not going to worry about going over the top of some of them because actually I think that's rather nice yeah. especially where There we go, and that just gives the back of the card. I'm going to pop that straight in. What have I done with my glue? As normal, I've picked up one that hasn't got any glue in it. <coughs> There's quite a few of my uh, friends. I've been a bit poorly with COVID. Thank good goodness it's the milder strain. So that goes on there. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm gonna close that down and while I'm on it, let's just put that one on. the border all the way around and that's where you can write your message to the recipient and I'm going to while I'm here pop on my designer service paper so I wanted to make sure that this was kind of the dots were lined up if you know what I mean so let's make sure that I've got that the right way up. There we go. And then I will show you how I put together the daffs. By the time this goes out, it will be Easter. So I would like to wish you all a happy Easter. Black and white is just so stunning. And let's put these in uh, while we've got the green ink open I'm going to stamp that in the center let's have a look lovely and that's all we need quickly so these are going to be in side um, dividers for a box card um, but before I do I'm just going to add this so this just needs it can be cut in two so I'm just going to snip that right up there Ooh, my nose is dripping and I'm going to stick one that way and one that way. So I want Sorry. 
a little stitched line to show. And this works perfectly, that one. Nice little detail. Just going on that one. Now, it's just a little bit long. I'm going to trim that down. There we go. And I'm going to put glue on that flap. Put glue on those flaps there. This is the only fiddly bit. And I'm going to try and show you how I how I do it. I like to have one folding in towards the back. And one folding There we go. And one folding in towards the front. So it's just a little bit awkward. Throw a bit of glue on there, look. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a press, fold them both ways and that gives that just a nice little detail and they're fairly evenly spaced so that's quite good. You could go further back so that that flap was touching the, front, the back but I'm happy with that. And I do realise the only thing I didn't do in advance, I need some more very vanilla. I didn't do my butterflies in advance. So I'll get some memento. I'm going to do three. You can die cut these out if you want to, it's just as easy to trim them out, I think. Um, let's give them some colour. A little bit of pumpkin pie in the centre. Not sure what this is going to look like. And that is dark flirty flamingo. I don't quite know if the colours are going to blend. I think 
the colours always look a little bit different, alcohol inks, if they're on uh, coloured cardstock rather than white. They're pretty, I like those. Can blend that out a little bit. Tiny little butterflies and I'm going to use a bumblebee trinket as well I'm very sad that they are not carrying over so I've stocked up on those because I absolutely love them they're very sweet also got ladybugs and we had ladybugs a couple of years ago. Do you remember those? I was feeling very smug that I'd managed to avoid COVID. I'm actually very grateful that it's the weaker strain that I've got. So it really has knocked me sideways. Um, and I'm still pretty exhausted if I have to, if I'm honest. Um, did the hoovering the other day. <coughs> <laughs> and I had to sit down afterwards, have a nap. Poor old girl. So I've got a team, team do coming up. I cancelled my April classes because I feel that just wasn't, this was before I tested positive, so. I'm feeling much better, even though I sound quite coldy still. There we go. <coughs> right. to cut a very thin strip of window sheet So let me show you how these go together. So I've got so saffron. And bumblebee is the darker colour. Hair might have bashed. So <coughs> the way I do it, So 
is to join the pieces together I'm literally just touching glue on but it gives a nice shade to those daffodils it gives I think adds a bit of depth when you've got the different layers on and then they just line up you can see exactly where they're supposed to be and I'm not worried that I've got a bit of glue showing there because that is going to go over the top there and then this bit I don't know that it's a right or a wrong I'm going to add a little bit there and that goes under there so that's the one And then and that just gives them a little bit of a zhuzh, just to give them a little bit of movement. And this is the, this you just have to line up and make sure you're getting in the right one. There is a right and a wrong way. <coughs> and um, You just have to match up the shapes. There you go. And I'm going to layer those two on top of each other like that, cross those across. Just using your fingers, give it a little bit of a, a zhuzh. Don't have flat flowers, eh? And then I just add oh, too much. Let's take that off. That way. Add that on the bottom. And there you have the daffs. And I've mounted the ones that I've got. I've got two of these for the flats. And then I've already mounted the buds. And because this is a box um, card and I want the daffodils to sort of not flop about too much, I've actually... Uh, doubled up these and sandwiched that in between so that they're a little bit um, firmer and I'll show you what I did for that so you want two the same the, the same way basically little bit of glue glue those two bits together and add some glue on that bit there There we go. And again, I've got two more
this I am going to snip into three. <coughs> Sorry. There we go, three little butterflies. Now this is obviously what I did with this is because I wanted both bits to have stitched, a stitched edge. And that's purposely off to one side because I'm going to put a bumblebee in there. That's fabulous. So we can add, adding that straight away onto here. We'll put those on there and you could have them go I, I just wanted these like that and then I cut some extra leaves to add these on so I'm going to work out where I want these and then I might snip them snip those together and I'm going to pop these onto the very back that I want to stick these to this bit here so 
so we want glue on the front and I'm being a bit mindful about where it is just have to close it each time Add the flowers first and then and then we'll add that one to that back one as well. So again do a little bit of trimming. in place give it a minute to dry and you see some of these I've ad actually added dimensionals to so it's sort of they they pop off the page a little bit pop off the top a little bit more <coughs> and then I'm going to This one, to come off this next. I want them to be a little bit lower down, so I'm gonna. Hopefully this is in camera. Oh, bit, big bit of glue there. down a little bit further forward lovely let's have a look yep we like that and then that is going to come off the front Again, double check now that that's coming out a little bit far that way, so we'll probably fit it in the envelope that way. But I like that sticking out there. And then one last one, this little doobie here will come down the front there. So I don't need all that stem. But we will have one more
Pen. Put these together there. So there we go. And then we've got these butterflies. So I'm going to fix these with the glue dots. Um, let me see. like that and then I'm just being a bit mindful of where I'm putting that and I'm going to trim that down even more because we don't need that bit in there In there. Trim that right down and add that. the front and the back. There we go. <coughs> We're going to add one of our little bumblebees. These are just gorgeous and I'm gonna have that there and I'm gonna tie a little bow I don't know if this is right or wrong but I I'm gonna double that up tie my bow with it doubled up the easiest way I know of doing a double bow and then trim those and that can go on with another glue dot There. Hopefully, um, that's going to be watchable, not too bad watchable. Um, bits of glue on there. Look, I've got glue all over my fingers. There we go. Lovely. You could, if you wanted to, add more um, of the designer series paper underneath but let's face it if you received that I think you would want to um, display it wouldn't you anyway thank you for watching I hope you um, enjoyed that leave me a comment stay well my friends and I will see you again next Sunday bye for now